With day two of the $400 black chip bounty kicking off in a few hours, we take the morning to check out the beauty of the island. We then stop over at a bird farm to make some new friends, which will hopefully give us some run good karma before our day two start. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in St. Martin, gonna be heading to the casino soon, but right now we got our buddy Alex and then this humming dove that won't leave us alone. We're having a bunch of fun, and let's just jump right into the hands, let's go. At the casino and we're feeling great, I've only ever made a day two one other time before, a few years back in LA at the Gardens Casino, so I don't really wanna waste this opportunity. What is up you guys? We made it back for day two. Uh, we uh, were a little bit late. Ethan and I were in the car and the uh, bridge went up. A boat was going past it so we got stopped there for 10 minutes. We we're 20 minutes late. We had 183k, went down to 140k but uh, played a few hands here and now I'm back up to like 200 and something k. So uh, let's try to run this up and ship this thing. We got 28 people standing in between us and the ring. Or 27. Let's go. We start the day ninth in chips. Ethan starts the day third in chips. And uh, let's see if we can run this up. Let's go. We're already running good. We pick up a $100 bounty with Ace Jack when the small blind rips it in for 20k and we call him and hold. Next hand we look down at 9.5 of hearts from the big blind, 190k in our stack and the cutoff raises it up to 12k. I decide to defend my big blind here with 9.5 of hearts. We're going heads up to a flop out of position which comes 10 three deuce rainbow. I start with a check over to the cutoff and he see bets for 7k into the 33k pot. But what hands is he really repping here on a 10-3? deuce board out of the big blind i'm gonna have way more of the deuce three pocket deuces pocket threes than him so i decided to get frisky early here in this tournament you gotta have a lot of chips to win and i decided to check raise him to 20k putting him in a weird spot opponent does not love this spot for him he decides to muck his cards just like that we're two for two on the day and take down a 40k chip pot this hand's a great one. I look down at pocket fives with 207k in our stack. At the 4k, 8k, 8k blind levels, and I have pocket fives on the button. When it folds around to me, I raise it up to 19k. The small blind now three bets me to 48,000. Interesting spot, but we're both pretty deep here, and I decide to put in the additional chips in position here. And if we flop a monster, we're going to get stacks in and be in a great spot to at least make a cash, if not win the entire tournament. And that's the goal, so I put in the call and what does the flop come out king five four bang we flop middle set dream spot for us we're in position and we don't even have any sweat here the small blind just rips it in for 160k obviously middle set is a snap call for me i put my all-in chip indicating that to the dealer and immediately flip over my cards no slow roll coming for me the opponent turns over ace king of spades so he's in a rough spot here it's a 430k chip pot, which would definitely put us in top five in chips for the tournament. Looking to fade some cards on the turn and river, he'd have to go run a runner. And he gets his first one, comes the king of diamonds on the turn. So we're looking to avoid an ace or a king on the river, which we do. The eight of spades is clean. Let's freaking go. 430k coming our way. Dream spot for us, a cooler for the opponent, but uh, we're not complaining one bit. We just got the full double of fives versus ace king on the king high board with the five out there. Let's freaking go. There's 23 left and uh, 21 get paid. We have almost double an average stack. So uh, we got to be feeling pretty good here. Let's just uh, keep uh, the good vibes going and uh, Ethan's still in. So let's go. With 23 players left, I'm second in chips. We're hand for hand and the bubble goes on for what feels like 30 to 45 minutes. But eventually a player finally gets knocked out. So we're in the money, which is great news. We have some money locked up. We made the money, $650 is the min cash. We also have four bounties, so $1,050 in for $840. That's like a $200 win so far. We're playing for $15K in that ring in that free tournament in Vegas to get on Ethan's status. So uh, let's get back to work here and let's uh, pick up some more hands. Let's go. And pick up some more hands we do. We have 320K in our stack. We're at the 6K, 12K, 12K blind level. I'm under the gun and raise it up to 26K. Small blind puts in the call, heads up to a flop, which comes queen, eight, seven, all spades. If you look over at the small blind's chip stack, he only really has around 21K left in his stack after my initial bet pre-flop. So I decided to put him all in here and uh, get his entire stack in if we're ahead. He puts in the call. I turn over my fives and he turns over a hand that we're definitely ahead of. King, jack off 
soft suit, although he does have the jack of spades. In a 118k pot, we're looking to fade any king jack or spade on the turn. The 10 of hearts peels off, and that gives him some more outs. Now any ace or any nine gives him the best hand as well. We're probably in a coin flip at this point with one card to come. Pretty gnarly spot, but a lot of chips at stake, and the nine of spades on the river is not what we wanted to see. Not only does he make his straight, he makes a flush as well. So 118k chips going the opponent's way, but we're still sitting pretty healthy in this tournament. We end up getting a table change, and Ethan's on our table. Pretty great spot. There's two tables left, and I must have brought some bad luck with me because Ethan looks down at my favorite hand, Pocket Sevens. Flops the set only to get coolered set over set versus opponent. They had Pocket Jacks. Bummer spot for him. Next hand for us, we look down at Ace-10 of Diamonds. Ethan's in the big blind, and the action's on me. I rip it all in. At the 20k blind level, Ace-10 of Diamonds is definitely just going to be a shove here. Folds back around to Ethan, who looks like he wants to put in the call and go to a run out with your boy here. But uh, he ends up turning over Jack-6 of Spades. Just can't find a call against us. No worries. Every time we rip it in and get a fold, we're going to pick up 50k in chips, which improves our chip stack by 25%. Next hand, I look down at Pocket Queens and do the exact same thing. I'm all in for 10 big blinds and get a bunch of folds. 50k more chips coming my way. After a few more hands, I look down at Ace Jack Offsuit now, and I decide to rip it in once again. And like the last few hands, we're gonna pick up another 50,000 in chips. Everybody's folding, but I'm ruining my image here. Eventually, I'm gonna get called. And that brings us to this hand here. We're on the button with King Queen of Spades. I have 220K in my stack, so just over 10 big blinds. And Under the Gun now rips it all in for his stack, 300,000. What do you guys do here with King Queen of Spades on the button? There's 13 players remaining. The pay jumps only really get big around play 7 or 8, so we still have to fade a few more people to get to some serious money. If you look over at PokerCoaching.com, for my exact stack size, 10 big blinds, I'm in the cutoff versus an all-in from under the gun. You have to be calling with King Queen of Spades. It's not until you get up to 20 big blinds that you're supposed to be folding King Queen of Spades, so 10 big blinds here is a super call. If you guys want free access to these charts and other things to help you play tournaments, there's a link down below, and they're giving away $500, so definitely go check that out. It's all free to do it. So uh, yeah, don't say I didn't try to help you. But here, King Queen of Spades is a snap call for me. I put in my stack here, and we're going to need to win this hand to stay alive in the tournament. The opponent turns over, unfortunately, Ace-Queen offsuit, so we're dominated in this spot. If we were to quickly evaluate the opponent's play from under the gun, PokerCoaching.com thinks that Ace-Queen offsuit here is just going to be a raise, and that he should only be jamming around like 10 or 15% of the time. Either way, though, we're off to a flop, which comes Queen high, so the money would have gotten in anyways if he just raises and I call preflop. Queen 4 3 rainbow, gonna need a king on the turn, which doesn't come. It's the nine of spades, followed by the four of clubs, and just like that, our deep run here in St. Martin comes to a close. We end up busting in 13th place, out for $1,100, plus the $400 we collected in bounties. Those are those blue chips. So I end up making $1,500 minus the $840 in buy ins, $660 worth of profit. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Click my head below to subscribe and stay in the loop. See you next time.